What's up YouTube, Tenchi Arizona, the angry Dracolope of the Jackalope crew here and in today's video we are going to be testing out my wood gasifier stove which I have right here packed up. So let me get this set up and I will get the camera in the right orientation to show it off. See you soon. Okay, so here we have the stove set up with the brand facing the camera. As you can see, it is a Luxada, just like the folding stove I have. I have my fuel here, and I'm just gonna get this prepared, start this burning, and then show you what it looks like when it is going. See you soon. Okay, so as you can see, I have the stove burning now. I topped up its fuel about five minutes ago. It's been burning about 10 minutes in total, and it does burn a few through the fuel rather quickly and this is the fuel I'm using I'm actually putting in longer fuel than it needs to take to be honest because uh, it does burn down really quick I'm just gonna yeah that's still burning down there but yeah because the fuel is now so low it is in at risk of going out so I'll get some more fuel added to the fire uh, I'll chop this down a bit more because it sticks out a little bit too far okay guys so at this point my stove has been burning for around 10 or 12 minutes and I've had to top it up with fuel about three times so it is a hungry little beast but it does burn really strongly now I wasn't expecting it to be this fuel hungry hungry so I did not really bring out much fuel for it but I'll keep it going as long as possible and up date you when I run out of fuel. Hopefully you're enjoying this video. This is the second stove I've done a test burn on. The first one was the folding Lixada wood stove which I made my char cloth on. This one is the Lixada gasifier stove. So yeah this one is a little more fuel hungry than the folding one just by virtue of it being a gasifier stove. Hopefully you enjoy this video and I'll be back soon to update you. Okay, so we are now about 25 minutes into this first burn of the stove. And as I said, it is rather hungry. It has used up pretty much all the firewood I had prepared. I've just got two pieces left here. So I'll put those in in a minute and we'll see how much longer of a burn time we get. Now, I brought out about a kilo of firewood, chopped up down to this roughly this sort of size, and I've gone through all of it in around 25 minutes, maybe half an hour at most, <laughs> except for, obviously, these two pieces. So. I will come back once I have added those two pieces and then I will update you again once the stove burns out. See you soon. Okay so I have the last of the fuel in the stove now and as you can see I've put the wind cover on which I only just realized that was what it was for after checking the instructions that came with the stove and the wind has picked up a bit so I'm glad I put that on as you can see it is now colorized with the pan holder on the stove and it is still burning steadily so I'll get back to you when it does eventually go out that being said for such a hungry little stove it has taken about a kilogram of wood in the time since I have first started this burn which at this point is around 35 minutes I'm quite impressed that being said and I will say this before the burn finishes I would not recommend this for your average backpacker it is a relatively heavy piece of kit and it, as I said, it is fuel hungry. So, yeah, I would not recommend this for your average backpacker. However, for someone who likes the whole bushcraft aspect of gathering a lot of firewood and stuff like that, 
yeah, it's okay for that, but general backpackers, not really. And as you can see, the fuel is starting to burn out now, so it's probably got about another two, three minutes left to the burn. Uh, for the average backpacker, I would actually recommend the folding Lex Lixada stove, the one I used to make my charcoal off. And as you can see, the flames are almost out. Don't know how well it shows up on the camera, but there are still flames under the cover. But it is almost out, so a kilogram of wood will last you 35, maybe 40 minutes at a push. If you keep it really stocked up. So, yeah, as I said, I would not recommend this for the average backpacker. It's far too fuel hungry. I would recommend either an iso isobutane stove like the MSR Pocket Rocket 2 or a folding wood stove because the gasifier stove is now completely out of fuel at the 40 minute mark by the looks of it maybe a bit under 40 minutes whereas for the same amount of fuel I could keep a folding stove going for about an hour maybe two hours and the isobutane stoves would be going for about two hours as well on one canister maybe even longer than that so yes not recommended for the average backpacker but if you want to use it as a heat source oh, there is actually still a little bit of flame inside uh, if you want to use it as a heat source yeah it puts out a lot of heat I'm about six feet from it now and I can still feel the heat from it I have got the camera zoomed in because I don't want to get too close to it and bugger up the lens on my camera as the camera is on my phone and it's my primary source of recording footage for my YouTube channel. I did prepare the firewood with this, my Prandy camp hatchet, Yankee style camp hatchet, and it did a good job. But using up a kilogram of wood in around 35-40 minutes, no bueno. Well folks, that's about all for today. The stove is now cooled and packed away. It burned for around 40 minutes total with about a kilogram of fuel, so very hungry stove. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the content and as usual, if you like it, like it, please subscribe, comment and share and remember, be good to each other.